Hi friends, welcome back. In Python learning, uh, today we are going to learn about data types. In my previous video, we have checked what is integer, what is float, what is boolean. Now in this video, we'll check a couple of more. So let's, let's start with the first one, that is the string. So first of all, what is a string? So a string is nothing but a contiguous set of characters. Okay, so I can write set of characters here. Okay, so basically contiguous set of characters. That is that is a string, and how we can represent it in Python? We should use quotes that can be a single quotes or the double quotes in between that we need to write this and that would be the string so for an example i will write one variable that is a message and i will assign here that hello hello and if i'm going to write uh, execute this line and i will try to print this I will get hello so this is one way where we have used the double quotes but I can do the same thing in single quotes as well okay so in both the ways I can create one a string like uh, a string is a very very uh, big topic and as we are I am just covering the intro of the data types so I will give you few example one or two more and I will end about the string but I'll make sure that I will create one more video which will be specific for the string only so what I, I can check uh, show you here so every message like if like this message is a variable and I can take the characters of this string like I can extract it how I can do that I can simply write msg in this middle bracket with 0 so let's see what I am going to get this is h why this is h because this string has some length and that length starts with some index let's say so index always start from 0 so h will be on the 0th index e will be on 1 l will be 2 next l will be 3 and this o will be on the 4 so if i am going to write here 4 then see i am going to get the o so this is just based on the indexes actually so let me write here with the index I think this is pretty much clear if I'm going to write here phi then C I'm going to get the error because there is no index phi which is available so we have to keep in mind that index always start from 0 but the length of the string is start if you are going to count that would be start from 1 so if I'm going to check the length of this string then this is phi okay so let me change this here again and I will write here print inside that there is one function which is called len and I can write here msg this is going to print me the length of this message so we'll discuss more about length in upcoming videos so basically just now you can think that this len function is going to give the length of this message so this is phi right but index is up to 4 and which is start from the 0 okay also i can do uh, we can uh, concatenated uh, string we can create so let's say i have one variable this is let's say first str is hello and the second str is word I can simply write first str 
plus second str and I can get the output hello okay so this is I guess pretty much clear so we can add these kind of we can do these kind of operations also to concatenate two strings so this is all about the string introduction I am again clearing that this is just an introduction about the data types so I think this is very clear that what is a string and how we can assign uh, a string into the any variable and how we can extract some character of that string through indexes how we can calculate the length of that string and how we can concatenate two strings one more thing so let's say you want to give multi line of strings so there is a different provision in python for that so I'm going to write multi multi line so here we need to give three single quotes and I can write my message like this is multi line the string and here in the next line if I'm going to print this then this is gonna be print like this is multi line a string so if you want to give assign any multi line string then definitely you need to use this three codes three single codes okay so for the single line of a string you can use single codes or the double codes as I uh, mentioned earlier also so let me write here again so that you guys cannot forget it so I can do by these two ways and for the multi line I can do this have I hope like this string is pretty much clear based on the introduction so now I, now I am going to move to the next data type that is again the list okay so if I'm talking about the list what is list so list contains the uh, items or which we can say the element also but with the comma separated way and that would be inside the square bracket so so just let me add new cell so let's say my first list will be my variable name and what I said that elements will be in a comma, comma separated so what is element any data type so let's say we have learned about the integer I will take the integer 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay but this comma separated element should be inside the square bracket so let me add this square bracket so this is my list basically so if I'm going to write print and just I'll copy paste this here and if I execute I am going to get my list here so this is basically a list and one more thing which I would like to add that list can contain any type of data type so let's say if I am going to write the same variable I will write here not an issue like 1.1 comma 2.1 comma 3.1 comma 4.1 then again if I'm going to print it I can do that so any kind of data type that would that it, it can contain actually but here you can see that this list contains a similar data type similar data type let's say in the in this example we have only integer data type in this example we have only float data type but this is not actually true list can contain multiple data time also at a time so let me copy this again and I will show you so first is the integer second will be the float let's say again third let it be as a float this one this and I can write the true now if I am going to execute this I am going to get 1 2.1 3.14 true so this is proved that list can contain 
any kind of elements, any kind of data types, it's not necessary that we are going to get, take, uh, like list is going to take only the single data type elements only. Okay. Also like as I uh, here gave you example in the string about concatenate two strings, same we can do with the list also. So let's say this is my first list again and it contains one comma two. Now I have the second one that is three comma four. And if I am going to write this first list plus second list, and I'm going to write inside the print. See, now this both list got merged into one and now we have one, two, three, four. That is the new list. I think this is pretty much clear. Now also in the string I have given you example to get the single characters from the string and the length of the string will do the same thing here also. So I will take this example again of the first list basically. So as whatever we have done in the string we can do here also. So just let me print this. See I am going to get this element first. If I am going to change it to 2 then I am going to get 3.1. So basically like a string in the list also there is a concept of index and the length and all and the same index is going to start by 0 to so on and the length will be the from start from 1 to the number of elements. This is pretty much clear. So again if I am going to write here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 it means we can write up to 4 index. So if I'm going to write the five, then again, we are going to get the error message that list index out of range. So index five is not available. Index four is available. So I'm going to get this true. Okay. So this is list. Now the next thing, as I said that we can uh, get the length also. So I will again use the same method length. And here inside that I'm going to paste it and I will execute see uh, my uh, the length of this uh, first length is 5 so here we can get one thing which is very clear that by the help of this length we can take we can get the length of any kind of object might be in in two examples we just saw the string and list might be in coming future I will show you some other uh, data type also inside that and we can get the length so I hope guys uh, uh, you get some good learning for this list basically okay list and uh, strings that's it for this uh, video I will cover next uh, few more data types as I mentioned in the previous videos which is not covered here I will cover those in the next video if you like this video then please like and subscribe and thank you guys.